Highly requested, highly fabled. This game, famously one of the hardest games on the Super Nintendo today. We check it out. And I have beaten Ghosts and Goblins on the NES, so we are going into this game pretty strong. This will conclude the first season of the Extraordinarily Hard Games. Next week, we'll be looking back at all 10 of the games played so far and evaluating their difficulty and kind of ranking them. If you haven't checked out the other games, you can do it right up there. So right away, if you go into the options, look what I have found, look what I found here. Game level, game level, normal, expert, professional. Like not only can you go one above normal, you can go one above expert to a whole nother level. I'm playing the game on professional. <laughs> I'm putting it, I'm cranking it up to 11, the hardest difficulty setting there is. So from what I understand, the premise is the same. You're chilling with your girl and then, And then... And then... Oh, see the big red guy comes out of nowhere and abducts her. Oh, look at this. We've got a map screen, kind of like the original game here. I hope they don't make me look at it every time I die. All right, so we are gaming here, folks. Let's fucking do this. All right, very similar to the original game. I've got a javelin to start. One of the big differences though, and one I've heard about, is that this game has a double jump. You can jump to the right and then to the left. You can jump straight up to the left. It's actually pretty sweet. Oh, I got fire already. There are zombies everywhere, dude. Don't forget we're playing on professional mode. What is that? Is that a bow? What? There's a timer. What am I doing? I gotta go. I gotta go. Stop farming and go. Dude, the ground is moving. This is so crazy. Oh! What? That dude had so many hits. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude, it got real laggy there. You can skip it in this game. The map screen does come up when you die, but you can skip it. What a concept. Dude, is that coffin flying? <laughs> What's going on? Ugh. Oh boy. Oh boy. How did I get in here? Somehow I went inside of this area. I didn't know if I was safe. Oh no! Stop! Leave me alone! Damn it. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Keep on going, man. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I'm screwed. I am so screwed. Ugh. Okay, do you think I can jump over this guy? Here we go, ready? Yes, it worked, it worked. Shit, I'm screwed. Oh, no. No, 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 these guys are a big pain in the ass. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. The floating coffin. I don't know if I can make this. Oh my god. I think I just got a 1-up. At 20,000 points, I think I got a 1-up. It's so hard to get through this little space. They keep spawning. Dude, how in the world? What is that? Is that a dagger? I think I got the knife. I think I got the knife. Is it the best item in the game again? I have yet to ever get past this part. It's impossible. You can't jump that high. Made it. Made it. The enemies don't stop spawning ever. Got the money. I got the money. Hey, get up there, get up there. There we go. Uh-oh. Scared. It sent me all the way back, dude. How is the water not a checkpoint? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, yeah, I made it back to the water, but how do you survive? How do you survive the tsunami, dude? I just stand right here. I'm alive. It's a miracle. Look at this jump. The big boy jump right here. Big boy. Ooh. Stay here, stay here. Okay, okay, that works. 
Damn, this is so cool. This game is way better than the original. I don't know how I survived that jump. The jumping is kind of awkward. So with the double jump, you can only you can only choose which direction he goes, but after he jumps, you can't influence him any anymore. All right, we're moving on. New stuff. Fair enough. Yes, finally. So this is finally a new area. What is that thing? I can't even kill it. Oh my. Go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away. You can't even kill these things. You just have to avoid them. Holy crap. Wow, that was tight. That's so tight. Just run. Just run. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Not gonna complain. Not gonna complain with that either. No! <laughs> wow. Somehow I got through all of that unscathed. Oh my god, what are you? What are you supposed to be? Oh my god! I'm hit! Dude, did I get him? Yes, take a key for whatever that said. We beat a stage. Alright, well, uh. So here we are. Oh my god. So this is very scary. Dude, look at those. <laughs> Look at those things, there's ghosts everywhere, the water's coming up, are you kidding me? I don't know what I was supposed to do about that, or any of this, for that matter. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> wow. There's an axe right there, but... I don't know, I mean, the first game taught me to only use the knife, so I don't know. I don't know what the best weapon is in this game, but I do like the knife. It is fast. Oh, we're alive. Oh, we're alive. Oh, we are not alive for long, though. Just go. Let's just go. Whoa, shit. Wait, what? Is that an evil treasure chest? Oh, what? I can't get up. Fucking go. Go, go. Up, 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 up. The chest is spawning enemies. Somehow I'm still alive. I've gone very far with no extra hits. There's no reason I should be alive right now. But let's not question the will of the universe here. Okay, now I'm kind of questioning it. Okay, game over. What does it mean? What does game over mean in this game? What does it mean? Continue. Credit six. So we do have a set amount of continues in this one. Dude, the water's rising? What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Dude, the ghosts spawn in the worst places possible. Oh my god. Hey, what's that? What? Oh my god, what is that? I just got upgraded armor and my weapon looks extremely badass. Run, 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 run! God, I hate these guys. Get out. These ghosts never stop spawning. Big jump, big jump! Yes! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was I supposed to do that? Oh, wait, wait, well, I got a checkpoint, but I lost that super badass armor. Kind of a bittersweet situation here. Dude, there are enemies, but I can't really... I don't want this item. What is that all about? Oh, you can actually control it. Dude, this is awesome. Look at the lightning. 
I just got bodied. Holy shit. Okay, can we just take a minute to admire how badass this game is? I mean, this is so much better than I was expecting, especially after Ghosts and Goblins on the NES. Dude, do I have to like... Got it. Yes, I did have to do that. No! <laughs> Ooh, there's the knife. There's the knife. Get the knife back. Get the knife back. Nice. Got it. That's the armor. Got it. Oh, I gotta jump to another raft. Quite possibly the most treacherous enemy of all. It's quiet. Too quiet. Too quiet. I just go through here? How's this gonna work? Wait, I can go backwards? This is weird. Oh, it's a boss! Oh my god! That thing came out at me. Oh, I'm so dead. Come on! Oh! oh! Yes! Dudes! You got it! Get the key! That key opens up the waterfall, because that makes sense. Alright, we're moving on to stage two. Holy shit, what is that thing? What? That was lucky. Look at this monster here. Look at these little freaking dudes everywhere that are fucking me up. Dude, that is a precise jump. Not too high, not too low. Alright, so try to jump. Wait, jump. There you go. That's fairly tight. Damn. Jump, jump. Oh my god. Are you serious? Wait, get out of here. How am I supposed to go down here if you're camping? Okay, here we go, here we go. Got him. Um, wow. How am I supposed to time that? That's ridiculous. Conveyor belts? No. Anything but conveyor belt, it killed me? Oh, it has little spikes on the edges. I didn't see those. Guess who has to go all the way back? That's right, this guy. Okay, do a double jump here. But this next one, I don't really get. Just die, that works. You can just die, that's a good strat. I don't, I have no idea how you make that jump. Oh, where did that guy even come from? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Dude, go away. I hate this guy. Okay, go for the corner. Go for the corner. So double jump here. Big corner jump. It's impossible. It's actually impossible. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that tech. Look at that tech to jump straight up and even yourself out. So hot. <laughs> wow, talk about pulling the rug out from under your feet, man. I have an idea for this. Jump. What if you jump and then double jump? That's gotta be it. You have to do this really awkward, like, immediate double jump. <laughs> I, I get how to make those jumps now. See, look, when you do a one jump, you can, you can initiate the double jump at any point. So you can do the double jump right away. So I think for some of those jumps, you're gonna jump and then double, like, immediately. Do a small jump. There you go. That's so awkward. I'd, like, bounce off the ceiling. <laughs> That's so weird. But hey, we got our armor all the way down here. There it was again. That was like the awkward double jump. That time I like humped the thing a little bit, but it worked. Yes, yes. 
God, that's so uncomfortable. <gasps> no. No. It's the gargoyles. No. Go away. Oh, God. I couldn't even kill that guy. I got killed by everything else. Please tell me I got a checkpoint. I think I did. I think I did. Yes. And we despawned that gargoyle, too. The thing that sucks about this game is that they hide the power-ups. Like, you have to do... You have to go to certain little nooks and crannies to make the chest appear. What? I disagree. Whoa! Holy crap. Okay, some pig man came out of the sky, game over. It's okay, we got continues. I actually have a lot of continues. I've got more continues now than I had when I started the game. So it seems like you accumulate them quickly enough that it's almost unlimited. The, the first game had unlimited continues because it was so hard. Okay, watch out for the pig dude that spawns. There he is. Uh oh, they're spawning infinitely, I think. Whoa, okay. See you later, platform. <laughs> wow. What the heck was that thing? Whoa, that dude didn't even, he just came out of thin air. Oh my God, dude, give me a checkpoint, please. Uh oh, this feels bossy. This feels pretty bossy. Yep, that's a boss. Wow, that was very weird. I went all the way back. God damn it. This is long. It's pretty easy, this section, it feels like. It's just kind of long. Okay, watch out for the rubble. I'm gonna step back here. Nice. Now what? Oh, he's back. Same thing? Uh-oh. What's he doing? Whoa, a little bit different. He's spinning again. Got him. That boss was so easy. Awesome. All right, we are moving on to this tunnel here, number three. If I can beat this stage during this sitting, I will be, I will be most pleased with our performance. What the heck is going on? Whoa. This game is getting a little bit trippy. Whoa. Whoa. So weird, dude. Is this the right way? Dude, how was I supposed to dodge that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Keep running. Just run. Dude, it never ends with these enemies. All right, still alive. Wow, I really challenged that hitbox. God damn. Okay, well this level already seems about 10 times harder than the last. Shit. Oh my God, just, I'm just going, dude. I'm just going. Fuck it. Why stop? Why stop? The enemies are everywhere. Okay, I kind of got to stop here. Got him. Nice. The stage is really cool. Wow, these jumps are not messing around. Armor! Armor! Yes! Fuck yeah. Got my laser beam swords. Whoa, that dude tried to take him away. What's happening? New area. Nice. Wait, what's going on? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, rip awesome armor. <laughs> ah! What was I supposed to do? That is a checkpoint, so that's good. Can you walk off of this thing? No. 
No, you cannot. All right, so far so good. Uh-oh, there's little buggers. Little buggers spawn and I hate those guys. Oh shit, dude, the way it wobbles back and forth is fucking with my brain. Go, 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 go. Dude, I thought I was dead for sure. Uh-oh, did I jump this? That guy spawned right in my path. <laughs> oh god, I hate those guys. Get out, get out, I can't get him. Ugh. Made it, made it, made it, made it. If you stand far to the left, you can spawn those buggers before you jump. At the end? Fuck yeah. Is this a boss? It's a big three-headed dragon. I'm gonna go ahead and assume yes. Oh, uh, here it comes. Here comes the pain. Well, the slow-moving fireball, that is. Oh, I killed one of the heads. Oh, he turned into a bunch of little dudes. Whoa. What the? Holy shit. Can't see. Uh oh. Dude, I just died in the most embarrassing way. <laughs> Wait, did it send me all the way back? I have to do the auto scroll section again. That boss was so easy. Take a death, take a death, take a death. God dang it. Whoa, he shot multiple fireballs. Holy shit. Okay, I think last time I got lucky and only shot one. Whoa, this is completely different than last time. I killed him. I skipped that other phase. How did I do that? Yes. Would you look at that? We beat the stage. What I'm talking about. This level looks very, very pretty. Look at all the stuff falling. This game is very attractive. Okay, so this is actually going fairly well so far. And I gotta say, I'm surprised that I'm saying it. This game is really good. I was expecting Ghosts and Goblins Part 2, the jank fest, the crap storm that was Ghosts and Goblins. I was just expecting that on the Super Nintendo, but this game is beautiful and it's a lot less cheap, much better designed, and it's got a double jump, it's got power-ups, super armor that gives you laser beams. Alright, I'll be taking this game down completely on Twitch in the upcoming week. I'll also be pushing out a video reviewing the first 10 games in the series and kind of ranking them by difficulty. This has been a ton of fun. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.